that's pretty <laughs> that's a pretty hair piece white and shiny you look very nice today <clears throat> well it's friday it's rainy here we're getting some rain this morning yes Okay. So how was your day? Tell me about your day. I got a holiday today because in our school my teacher my teacher was dead. She had an infection. Oh, so she was sick? Yes, and she passed away. That's why all the teachers have to go and again they have to say that lessons kids need to work so they means they cannot do that. That's why the day was a problem. Oh my goodness. Well I'm sorry to hear that. Um are have, were you upset? Yes. Well that's too bad. So now um is your class going to be different now? I mean, are you going to have a new teacher? No. Third, what's a third D teacher? Mary Lavinius. Oh, so she wasn't your teacher? No. Oh, she, okay. This B section and C section. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, still, it's kind of... Uh, upsetting when something like that happens yeah. uh, it's upsetting to the whole school but yeah well that's too bad i'm sorry to hear that but you got a day off of school so did you do anything fun today i got my mother has got the uh-oh now what are you going to do with that are you going to draw some pictures I got to draw some pictures and make something else. I also had to make one thing. Okay. Well, you're all set then. You're just going to be doing all kinds of creative work. Where is it? I got me this one. I had one white paper and one uh i gave a page from this book i folded them like this and, and i can use the book like this <laughs> and all the stickers i can put i can put my pens up all my type of pens glitter pens the things i can keep I can keep her here or somewhere else. <laughs> okay, well, looks like you're all set for some some creative fun. Yes, because <laughs> sometimes my pen and some of my pens with my erasers, my sharpeners will be not found. If I everything I keep in my pens, my mother brought me this is a new pen because in our first UT exams, after my first week exam, I had to write with a blue gel pad. Um, and my mom buy me yesterday night in the bookstore. And one of the, my mother buy two pens, two gel pens, two red pencils, meaning that will write in red color. No. Red pencils and pencils, normal pencils. She mm -hmm. had taken. One of my blue gel pens has not found it. I'm searching everywhere in my home and they not find it. Because when after my lunch, I got and draw with my favorite sketches. I got drawn a rainbow and people, flowers. I draw. Mm -hmm. Plastic. Nice. Nice. Well, sounds like you had a busy day then. Shopping. Yes, I, draw, I draw 
morning I woke up because I had a holiday. That's why I had wake up at nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> because yep. every day I I had to go, I had to go up early five six seven sometimes eight o'clock. Oh my. But in so, that small time only, I can really take a bath and do everything. So today you got to sleep later. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, did you write any sentences from our last? Um, story or not? I yes, and I want to show you one thing. Okay. I got this story my mother by me this one because actually this is my mother's diary <laughs> when she was fifteen or twenty. I don't know, but she used this diary for some purposes. Oh, I see. Like this, um, exactly. Ooh, yeah. So now you're gonna use it. Yes, I'm going. To, I had a friend named she. She she was always morning to night. She will stay at Paige's bookstore. In Paige's bookstore, we can read what book we want. We can take and we can read. She will also daily come and read the book some books. At the closing time, she will select one book for tomorrow she's going to read. She, she was writing some words and such that for a cousin's relatives. She offered me about a dictionary. If I write 50, 50 words, 50 words in 10 mistakes, okay, not 20, 30 mistakes. Like that, 50 words I have to write, learn that spelling, and write their meanings. Wow. I completed that. My mother will be will be buying me that dictionary. And I asked the pop-it book. Means in the middle one pop-it will be. Uh -huh. That's what I offered. I already have, but it has gone somewhere else. She said, find it. Honestly, if you find it, your mother will not buy this this puppet for you. If it's not found, your mother will buy this puppet. She offered me, I did. <laughs> okay. She offered me to open. That's why I'm putting some words like this. Oh my! Yes, you're you're doing some nice work. Well, that's nice penmanship too. I like your penmanship. <laughs> I'm not writing this because I'm gathering some words that you're saying to me. That's why I'm the stampered, no, orange, chisel, babushka. Babushka means I had a meaning like that. Uh, grandmother's names. Yes. Grandmother names. Yeah, that's what they call their grandmother, babushka, in Russian. And, yeah, <clears throat> Russian name. Yeah. And I got salmon mask, ingredients, peak sugar, tempted. These words I got to write the whole book. Okay, so did, did you write any sentences or you just wrote words so far? Yeah. I got forgotten the. I got forgotten the. Spelling peak. Peck? Yes. Peck, P E C K? Yes, yeah. I forgot peak. You forgot what? I forgot the meaning of. I just said I got it again. Of peck? You forgot the meaning of peck? Yes. Well, remember when uh, the little girl was going to gather eggs? She was going to get some eggs for their thunder cake. Um, she was afraid that the hen was going to peck her. It's when, the, <clears throat> when a bird or a chicken takes their beak and they, they, almost, they try to bite you, but they, they peck you with their strong beak. 
Okay. So it's it's a uh, <laughs> when they peck, they take their beak and they poke it into you, and it hurts because it's sharp. So that's yeah, how they. But, <clears throat> but, uh, in, uh, what's the, the long beak will be the sonic hatch, the bird name? Hen. Okay. Hen. No, it's long beak, it's bird. I got forgot it. Catch. It will maybe rate of water will be more. You mean the the hen in the story? What was her name? No, not this hen. Hen has smaller beak. That has longer beak. Means it will be stuck in on some woods to on some wood pieces. <laughs> I'm not sure I follow what you're saying. <laughs> Means Sorry. like that was that not Han. It's like the bird that have a long and sharp beak. I got to so the name. You're trying to to figure out what the name of that bird is. Yes. Uh, oh my goodness. Well, I don't know. That could be so many different kinds of birds. But no, it has that's only one bird. That's the small bird. It's, it's a. Small the small bird with a long beak, like a. Yeah. Oh my! I don't know. A toucan. That's, that's, <laughs> I think Indians name also Indian. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Well, you you think about that, and maybe you'll think of it later, and then you can tell me. Yeah. All right. So you were going to read to me today, I think. Did you find a story to read? I got. The darky the scarecrow, but I I had forgotten my book, my school bag. Oh, so you don't have the book with you? I had, but I, it's in my school bag over there. Well, are I you gonna? Read. Do you want to read to me today? Yes. Well, then you need to get your book. Yes, it's here. Yeah, my book. <laughs> oh dear. Well, you can fix it. Because it still moves for me, always coming down. Yeah. Well, what's the name of your story that you're going to read? Darky and the Scarecrow. Something in the Scarecrow. Let me see. Can you show me the title? Dorothy meets the Scarecrow. Okay. I got this from my first lesson. This, that sounds like this is from the Wizard of Oz. Is that right? Yeah. Dorothy meets the scarecrow. Okay, well, go ahead whenever you're ready. And I also want to say an interesting thing. The scarecrow was stuffed with all straws. It's, mm -hmm. and it's a non living thing, but it can talk and it can move its hands. Yeah. <clears throat> so that scarecrow came to life, didn't it? Yes. Yeah. And it's here, here. The scarecrow is talking to the darkie. Oh my. Okay. Well, go for it. Let's hear it. This will be a good Dar story. Okay. Darty walked along the road. It was made of yellow bricks. When she had gone some, what's that? Miles, she needed to rest. She climbed to the top of the fence beside the road and sat down. Her dog told you, sorry, what's that? Tito. Tito. Tito was all the time. He lay down on the ground by the head, by the fence. There, there was a large cornfield. 
on the other side of the fence and the fence and in the and in the field there was a scarecrow Dotty gazed at the scarecrow its head was small that stuck with straw its face was painted on on the stack it had a whole it had an old pointed blue hat on his head on his body it wore a blue suit and a fat the fan clothes which had also been stuffed with straws on the feet there were some boots the scarecrow was tired was tired to talk sorry the scarecrow was tied to a tall pole it was there to scare birds and stop them from eating the ripe corn while dorothy was looking at the painted face of the scarecrow she was surprised to see what what of his eyes slowly wink at her she thought she must have imagined it imagined it then the scarecrow moved its head to to her friend when dotty climbed down from the fence and walked up and walked up to it dotty ran around the pole It barked. Good day," said the scarecrow. "Who did just speak with you?" asked the girl in wonder. Joanna, can you move? Yeah, you went out of the camera range there. Yeah, that's better. Can you stay there? Thank yeah. you. Can you tell me the spelling of this? Okay. C. C. Not E. C. Cat. C. Okay, got it. B. E. B. E. R. R. T. A. T. A. I N. I N. T. Sorry. I N L Y. Certainly. <clears throat> it's called. It's pronounced certainly. 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 Yeah. Certainly. It means like absolutely, like for sure, certainly. <clears throat> certainly. Answered the scarecrow. How do you do? I'm pretty well, thank you. Good night, don't be polite. To me. How do you do? I am bored, said the scarecrow. It was very dull. We get stuck up here night and day to stay away from crows. Can can you get down? Asked Dorothy. No. This pole is stuck, stuck, stuck up. My back. Please help me get down. Dorothy reached, reached up both arms and lifted the scarecrow off the pole. He was quite light because he was only stuck with straw. She set him down on the ground. Thank you very much," said the scarecrow. "I feel much better." Dorothy was so surprised to hear the the straw man speak. The scarecrow stretched and yawned. "Who are you?" asked the scarecrow. "And where are you going?" "My name is Dorothy," said the girl. "And I am going to Emerald City. I'm going to ask." Great orders to send me back home to Kazan. 
Where is a whole city? said the scarecrow. Who is Oz? Why don't you go? She replied in surprise. Oh, I did. I don't do anything. You see, I'm stuck with straws, so I, I have no brains at all. He answered sadly. Oh, said Dorothy, I'm so sorry for you. Do you think he asked if go to Emerald City with you? That Orson would give me some brains. Do you know, she replied, come to the Emerald City with me and go to. And go to. You can ask the great Orson for a brain. What? What if he doesn't give you one? You should try anyway, said Dorothy. You have nothing to lose. That is true, said the scarecrow. You see, I don't mind my legs and arms and my body because stop me because I cannot give her. If anyone treats on me, toes or or stick it pay to be it doesn't matter because I can feel it. Dorothy listened carefully and nodded. She was amazed to see the scarecrow walking the top. But I I do not want people to call me a fool. And if my head stays stuck with straws instead with of with brains as yours how I am ever ever to know anything. I understand how you feel, said the little girl, who was truly sorry for him. If you will come with me, ask us to do all he can do for you. Thank you. He answered gratefully. Dotty and Toto and the scarecrow walked into the fence and climbed over the stuff. Climbed over it and started walking along the yellow brick and low bricks road towards the Emerald City. Toto snapped around the snowman Lord and sub suspected the mighty bee a nest of rats and straw. He was brave in unfriendly way because he did not he did not know the scarecrow. Don't buy Toto said Dorothy. He is to her new friend. He never bites. Oh, I am not afraid, replied the scarecrow. He can hurt the straws. Toto be right, said Dorothy. To her dog and bent down to pat him. Then she picked up her basket and began to walk again. You let me carry the basket for you. Shall I not bind it? For for I can get tired, said the scapegoat. Tell your secret, he continued. As you walking along, there is only one thing, the world I am afraid of. What is that? I thought it's a farmer who made you. 
go on to the skate group. It's a light match. Yes, this is the story about the dark day of the skate group. <laughs> Have you ever seen that movie called The Wizard of Oz? No. Well, the, this is from the movie called the, the Wizard of Oz. <clears throat> the Wizard of Oz. It's a fun movie. You should try to try to watch it. It's really nice. It's a fun. Did we find it on YouTube movies? Uh, you might, but you might have to pay for it. I don't know for sure. Uh, you, you might. Like movie Edward? You, you like movies? Yeah, you could. You should look and see if you can find it. It's it's a nice movie and uh, <clears throat> Dorothy and Toto, her dog meets a scarecrow and they meet a lion and they meet a tin man and they all the four of them <clears throat> excuse me the lion the scarecrow and the tin man and dorothy they all travel together and they have all kinds of troubles trying to go to emerald city to see the wizard of oz and uh, she's trying to get back to kansas which is one of the states in the United States of America, Kansas. <clears throat> okay, well that was a that was uh, nicely done. And, I and you also have to try with movie about step dogs. Yes. Step dogs, you know that will be. I think that's a that's a new language movie, but I think in the United States everything will be in English. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It'll be in English. It'll be in English, and there's singing, and there's uh, 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 it, you, there's a witch, and flying monkeys, and there's all kinds of things going on in this movie. You need you need to try to watch it if you can. Have your mom help you find it. Um, it's called The Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz. You have to try that step dogs movie. It was so funny and so interesting. Yeah. Every time I watch that movie, fully, there's one girl and one boy. The, the, the boy's mother has died and his father married one more woman. And she, she was, she had lost his husband and her daughter named Lizzie and and the boy had a dog. What is that? And dog and the girls have a dog. The both of the dogs was the both of the dogs had had been like friends and they had made one war because middle of one thieves they were trying to take the girl's mother diamond necklace. Not diamond necklace. It's a, this much bigger diamond. That's mm. it's a real diamond. Mm. The girl's father had gave me how many years you had this. You were success in your life, he said. Wow. They're trying to trying to take the diamond, but every time they had six plants with the six plants, they were loose. <laughs> that sounds like an exciting movie. I'll have yeah. to try. To... Okay, so let me uh, just go over a couple of the words that I noticed. Um, <clears throat> corn. When you said cornfield, cornfield, I had trouble understanding that uh, field. And then I think you meant ripe corn. And you said rip corn. When um, the scarecrow was guarding the ripe corn to keep the birds away from, from it so that they wouldn't eat it. Um, then I spelled certainly, certainly for you. Kansas, Kansas is the name of that state. Toto, Toto is the name of the job or the dog. Toto, um, Emerald. And then when I heard you, Talk about the yellow brick road. I heard you say "ello, ello" instead of "yellow." 
you got to make sure you get that Y sound in there. Yellow brick road. And then yellow. yellow and these colors. I got called this color yellow and this color yellow. yellow. Yes. Okay. Just be careful when you say yellow. Make sure you start it with the Y sound. Yeah. And then bent. Um, bent was another word that I <clears throat> had trouble understanding. Okay. Well, you did a really nice job. Joanna, we're out of time today. Next time, I'm going to read to you, and I'm going to read this book. Low of Fortune. For the, lo for the love of... You this book one day? It's about a little kitty, a little cat. Yeah, it was so many their hats. Like yeah, that. the cat's name is Autumn, and this is oh. by the same author as Thunder Cake, Patricia yeah, Pilar. Also, he only wrote Thunder Cake. Yeah, remember our Thunder Cake? Uh, Patricia Polacco was the author of that book, and she's also the author of this book. So she's a, a famous author of children's stories, uh, and a lot of the kids like her. Now, this is kind of a long book, so it may take us two days to get through it. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I can probably read it in, in, in one time, but I think it, you'll like it. It's a fun little story about Autumn the cat, the, the cat, <laughs> Autumn the cat, and we'll do that next time. All right, so you have a really nice weekend and do some fun stuff and do some drawing. Maybe you'll have some drawings to show me next time. Yes, because I also, I, I also have my iPad I take a white paper and uh, put anything, any type of princesses, and I can put the paper on it and trace with pencil or my, oh, my friend, good idea. Honey, my auto friend, her name is Kalina, and in six years, she drawed uh, Sophia the princess, and the Jasmine princess, and Ariel princess. Oh, in six years. She sounds very talented. Well, I bet yeah. you can draw some fun things too. Some really nice things. Okay, well, you maybe you'll have something to show me on Monday. Okay, I had mountains. <laughs> You're gonna show me today, okay. I just had this one. I draw it. Oh, nice. The nice this rainbow and the Indian flag. Yes. Flowers. And who are the people? They're the people. They're, they're coming to praise that Indian, Indian flag. They're coming to praise them. Oh, I see. They're coming to show their respects to the Indian flag. OK. And you, the, you don't know who the people are? Is it you? And your mother? Yeah. No? All right. Army people. Army people. All right. Just, just regular people. Army people, did you say? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, they definitely would respect the flag, I think. All right. Well, thank you for showing me that. Like this, like I perfect like a plane. <laughs> yeah. Does it fly? Yes, but the air has blown to where we had put like this. Oh, I see. Some oh. pictures the children will be had a dream and they draw good paper and they will put this like they made like this and they'll they will throw it away from the window and it will fall on someone and yeah. they will have what the children want. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, um, hopefully I'll see you Monday morning. Okay. <laughs> All right. You have a good weekend. I'll say bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye.